Welcome to the Society of Thoracic Surgeons 8 in 8 series. I am Claudine Lewis, and I am an advanced cardiothoracic surgery fellow at the Brigham and Women's Hospital, Harvard University. I will be taking eight minutes today to briefly explain the role of the cardiothoracic surgery trainee in the ICU. I have no disclosure. According to the American Board of Thoracic Surgery, thoracic surgery as a field encompasses operative, perioperative management, and surgical critical care aspects of the thoracic surgery patient. As the care increases in complexity and the tools in which we use to do our job continues to expand, what is the role? of the intensive care unit in cardiothoracic surgery training. Modern cardiothoracic surgery training is continuing to see innovations, and these innovations are being taught over a fixed training time period. How can we best optimize our roles? As a young junior trainee, hemodynamic waveforms are important, understanding EKGs and the post-procedure patients, being able to do bedside procedures in thoracic surgery and in cardiac surgery, understanding the drips that are being used in the ICU, as well as the native functions of the internal organs and the multidisciplinary care. How can we best optimize and keep ourselves going so that we can be focused on the cares that we're given? Insert the 10 commandments. Thou shalt not prioritize OR patients before the post-op is seen in the morning. Assess prior patients and make plans. It's very good to establish that continuity of care in the patients that are being taken care of in the operating room to the ICU. And if you were involved in a case in the operating room, it's very good to continue that continuity. So be it your program already functions as an ICU responsibility or not, it's best to see your patients and to see the ICU patients and understand what's going on as the day may get going. Thou shalt not make unto thee any excuses for not learning one new skill or knowledge from the ICU or the OR each day. Learn something new every day. Don't go through the motion. Try to understand hemodynamic waveforms, as that's where you're at knowledge-wise. Understanding the use of the drips for the junior uh, trainees. And then for the more senior trainees, still using an opportunity to learn something new every single day. Thou shalt not take the role of the multidisciplinary team members in vain. Communication is key. Need great team management and cooperation. Inform providers be the liaison for the surgeons in the OR and the ICU team so that they're in one accord. Remember thy post-op plans and get them going. If six days shall pass and beta blocker dose is not optimized, consider failure. Assess volume status and have a daily plan. Add and transition appropriate timing for the anticoagulations the patients require. Honor thy nurses and thy patients. The information learned at bedside gives dialogue to the findings in the chart. Know the pre-op history and the implications, why things are going the way they are. Listen to the heart with a device called stethoscope. Don't examine the patients from the door. Thou shalt not kill time. Go to the OR if free and watch, read, round, anticipate, prepare, and advocate. Do things that needs to be done, like the central line, while you can get the access before the codes. Very helpful to free up and assist in the ICU so that things are moving along and patients are optimized. Thou shalt commit adult cardiac surgery protocols to memory. Know when patients have fallen off the algorithm and provide them the solution that they require. Thou shalt not steal. Supplies must be replenished and inventories improved. The ICU has limited resources. The cord for the defibrillator cannot leave room four and go to five. The bronc tower should be placed back where it belongs 
for the thoracic surgery patients, it's important that we're preparing ourselves for the next step. Thou shalt not bear false witness in charts via copy forward. Be very, very careful. The documentation we leave in the chart is the documentation of what was done and what our, and our aspects are of the care that's being given for the patients. So be very careful, obviously, when copying forward to not continue a pathway of incorrect information being in the charts. So check, check, check again. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's diagnosis. See every single image yourself. Find every echocardiogram for your cardiac surgery patients. Look at every single CT image for your thoracic surgery patients the day that they're done. Evaluate every single cath on the patients you're going to be doing a bypass on the same way you would want to see all of your images for your thoracic surgery patients as well. Pretend that the buck stopped with you and that there is no one who can help you for the next steps. Despite the wisdom in these commandments, it is clear from a historic perspective that total compliance with all criteria may still be partial the responsibility. Be there, trust no one, hear everyone, increase your ICU competency before you reward yourself in the OR. Thank you.